What's up, people? This is Evil House, and I'm bringing you an episode of Harry YouTube. And uh, the last episode, I mean, I have done this episode like forever ago, and I have not, like, what do you say, made my mind to continue this thing since, like, it didn't receive that much like attention. But uh, it's something like I, uh, I prefer to, like, what do you say, finish and get it over with. Um. It isn't just a get over with thing. Like I know, it, like uh, f anybody who wants any like uh, info about how to YouTube or any like stuff, I I'd rather not like, have to explain it to every single one of them individually. Uh, instead, I would like since I've been doing YouTube for some time, not that successfully anyway. I sort of know like um not everything, not even close. But quite a good number of things like what resolution should your YouTube banner be? What resolution your profile picture should I mean like there's no resolution for profile picture, but the banner has resolution. It's um 4K, I forgot the exact numbers, uh, written it down somewhere here. One like uh two thousand two wait um two thousand yeah, Uno Momento. Um, let's see. Yeah, very professional, you know, legal house. Very professional. Looking up information. Actually, you should never be ashamed of looking up information. Okay, look at these. Like little uh, thumbnails I've been working on for every single one of my videos. I'm gonna call that in the later episode. Um, right now, where did I keep it? Very professional, even us. Very professional. Very, very professional. This is a banner I made. What's this resolution? Yeah. It's uh, 1440 into 2560. Um, I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> okay. So, uh, s like stuff like stuff like this. Uh, also, I know a bit of graphics. So, it goes hand in hand with doing YouTube work. So, yeah. Anyway, getting to the topic of this episode, um, we gonna be starting off with basic video editing software. Uh, as you can see, I loaded up Premiere Pro here. If like some people prefer to use Sony Vegas or, or Premiere Pro, there are many other video softwares, but the most prevalent ones are Premiere Pro and Vegas, Sony Vegas. Right. So they're quite like really easy to like the use once you get the hang of it um let's see i say i wanna pull out a video let's see look at this video yeah my intro my very very good intro um this is not a completed version of it you guys have probably seen the completed version of it in every single one of my videos uh here we go here's the completed version Alright, so let's say I need this thing, I need this intro to pop up behind the video I'm editing. So what do you say, I go to my folder, wherever I have it, I just drag it in. There, It, it isn't even that difficult. Or you could take the hard and retardedly long route and go browse for it over here. If you have worked with computers for like a I don't know, Ever since XP, you would probably know how to browse, but if you don't, well, this tutorial is not for you. Go search a different tutorial, bro. Um, anyway, getting back, look at this. I'm gonna, this intro, I'm gonna play this, and you guys need, look at this, and if you notice something, leave that in the comment section below. Did you notice something? That's right, the transition is sudden. Um, it isn't that big a deal with my intro because it sort of, we say, itself works. Like the transition isn't that bad. But let's say uh, this little intro which I made for my cousin. Um, my cousin's YouTube. It's a shout out, go check him out. Um, oh god, I, mean, I should stop saying um a lot. I'm so bad. Alright. This is a little intro I made for my cousin. 
Um, look at this one. So, you guys give me your opinions on this. Yeah, now that transition, that transition seemed sudden, didn't it? Now, I'm gonna teach you like one or two tricks to make that transition seem a little more seamless. See what I did there? Uh, bad joke with Evo House. Oh uh, yeah, fun times. Okay, um, what I'm doing here is, look at this over here. Little effects place. I click on these, I click on effects. What you're gonna see over here is this. Um, you go to video, click on video transition, click on dissolve, click on cross dissolve. Now, what that does is it fades your, uh, fades the first video into the second video. Watch this. Yeah, that, feel a uh, that felt a little more fluent, didn't it? Let's watch that again. Yeah, that re felt really fluent, didn't it? Now, one more trick you could use is go to audio trans with yeah audio transition cross fade. Um, the like you could use any one of these. These all of these do almost the same thing. Just go here and place it at the end. What this does is it fades the sound out of the intro. Yeah, um, like it feels much more fluent now, doesn't it? Now you can mess with this a little. You can increase the size of, like increase the duration of the uh, like fade in or, and fade outs. That felt a lot more better, didn't it? And you could also do a little more of this. Now, that effect really didn't work out with the theme, did it? Uh, the intro was quite fast paced. Um, I would say. Let's see how this pans out. No. Like, the slow dissolve isn't really working with this intro. I'm gonna like, make this uh, dissolve. Uh, cross dissolve itself isn't something that really works with the intros I, I usually do. Uh, let's go with uh, addicted dissolve. Let's see how that works out. Let's make it just a tiny bit shorter. Yeah, that felt like what do you say it flashed in, right? Like look at this. The background is flashing in. Compared to cross dissolve, where the over like foreground is fading out and the background is fading in. Instead like it instead of like having that, what addictive dissolve does is it makes it feel like the background is flashing out so that's just one just like a small few tricks that you can have what do you say you can use to make your intro feel more fluent getting a good intro now that you need to contact a good graphic designer um i sell graphics a shameless self-marketing wink wink not nudge <laughs> uh, joking like I do sell I sort of sell graphics but I sort of can't exactly sell it to everybody since I don't have a working PayPal long story short I need to be 18 before I have a functional bank account I do have a bank account but I can't do any online transactions with it until I'm 18 and I get my PAN code number so after I'm 18 I'm gonna be selling graphics but at the moment I locally sell graphics um, this is some of the stuff I've been making and um, alright, um, a little something messed up, Bundy Cam fucked up, long story short, like, Bundy Cam fucked up, 
Turns out any software I use fucks up. Anyway, just a little uh, um, ex explanation or exposition for anybody of you wondering who have been following my channel for long, like some time. I don't expect many of you guys to be following my channel, but um, usually I say fraps fuck up, right? I use fraps for my game recording and I use body cam for um, my other stuff recording. My quick draws, my photoshops, my tutorials and yeah like it's a force of habit force of habit okay anyway uh, i sell graphics now right now maybe next year i mean like i'm gonna be selling it internationally to anybody any like anybody through paypal uh but for right now i sell graphics globally but this is something i made i this is not even close to my best work because like i have made something like i've made a few works even more better but that's a sort of classified for the clients. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So. Anyway, this is a little something I made for my cousin. Uh, I just showed you guys a little few tricks to make the uh, intro feel more like seamless. Now I'm gonna be making a few more videos discussing the resolution of the uh, cover page, you, the pixels per inch, you know, and all that sort of stuff. It sounds complicated, but really it's quite simple. Uh, higher the pixels per inch, more clear the image looks. Um, that sort of stuff. So that's gonna be it for this tutorial slash how to YouTube. This particularly was sort of like what do you say? Uh, point like directed to my cousin. So he's like I made this intro for him, and like he is quite new to Premiere Pro. So. He, uh, I'm sort of showing him the ropes indirectly with this video tutorial. So hope anybody else who watched this enjoyed the video. See you guys in the next episode.